What's up guys, it is IPSI today. We're playing some more Hogwarts Legacy. Um, yeah, again, I would like to thank you everyone for uh, showing your support. Uh, it's great playing this game. Uh, if you want to uh, show more support, you can always leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below. Uh, like, uh, tell me what's your favorite, like, like, type of magical class. I've all, always been, like, a really big fan, like, of, like, potions. Because it's basically chemistry, and I never really got to do chemistry in high school. But, like, that's the class that I, I've loved. Uh, again, like, normally all the teachers have been really cool. Especially, uh, in Lo Hogwarts Legacy. Alright. Alright. We should be getting back to the actual video, so let's jump in. Okay. Where are we gonna go again? I'm not sneezy as, as yesterday I was. Oh yeah, we have uh, the dueling class, right? We have the dueling club thing. I think we also have a thing from... We have Herbology, uh... Oh, cats. We'll do, yeah, we'll do, um... Stuff. We also... Okay. Do we have the incendio spell we have to do? I don't. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like incendio. Uh, it's a very, it's a very, it's kind of a limiting spell. Oh, that's a level one lock. It's a very limiting spell. So like, I can't do much with it. Cause like you, it requires that you be really close and there'll be a better, a way better spell like later down the line. It does the exact same thing, but in a distance. I, I think probably the worst spells are the ones that you were, where you have to be cl uh, up close. Incendium. Something we do need to do is make sure we get um, more and more uh, one more st items. All right. All right, we need to do a practice round because I'd Hello, rather Lincoln. have a practice do a practice. I'd like to practice with anything. the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Accio. Incendio. Let me also. Excellent form. Incendio. Okay, that's how we should Good we should boy. just use incendio right after we use it. Uh, like Levioso. Oh shit. Wrong thing. Accio. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Damn, that Impressive that spell combo work. is actually fucking I'd amazing. Like to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop! Don't make me blush. But I still Seriously, don't like it. Well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Plus, you'll be even more formidable in crossed ones. 
other jewels had better beware. Uh, let's check, make sure we have everything for uh, all of our gears is fully up. Something I do wish that we had um, was a better um, if we had like a storage system. I think a storage system would be a, a way better like item thing. All right, that way we can actually use. Um, Hello, Lucan. Is the final round we can of keep ready? Well, any Big like match today. major it thing? It all comes down to this: the moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? Absolutely. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get started. All right. I think when I first we played can make this, this a real victory. My first That's play this, I did it with um, all special. was not what I wanted. Yeah, I wasted all my fucking things because I was trying to do What's dodges. You've won the tournament. I'm just kidding. Sorry. That was nothing. I'm just getting started. If the best duelists in the school weren't enough competition, then perhaps you should consider transferring to Dernstrang. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Damn. Honestly, I really like this this um uh, this outfit. I'm not sure if it's an outfit. Yeah, it's an like it's a uh one of these outfits. Yeah, let's go with this one. Honestly, one of my one of my more favorite outfits. Okay, how much? How good are we on? Yeah, I've already done a studio enough. All right, well, I guess we can go to herbology now. I think a lot of people's favorite class right now, or like people who've played the game's favorite class is her herbology.
And those people are fucking sick. Revelio. We're running to a herbology. This is, like as soon as we like we basically go through like um we get to like each section of the castle, I'll eventually move on to other ships. I was right, it was this way. Revelio. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's down this way. And unlocked. No. Is she growing Punja's onion again? Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Hmm. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a Tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair it. Smart move. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like mock grass. Yes, Professor. Mm -hmm. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I nearly went deaf. I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal, so remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting mm. dittany. Let us find you some seeds. There was a I already have some, Professor. There's a modern Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Oh. 
wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star. So there is like there was a mod mod there was a mod uh, called Witchery, and they like one of the things that it did was they had a um. Done. Mandrake, and if you Once harvest, harvest the mandrake, or if you try to harvest the mandrake, it would potion. pop out, and then you would I have to kill it, and it would, you would cause you a uh, visual now, disorientation. Let's say we branch out, introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Like, one complaint that people have ta uh, talked about is that, um, it so does not, the other day. like, this game does not That's offer as much classes I'm as Leander. it would be amazing I'll be showing you the Chinese too. chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But, your lead. I think, like, I think probably what they were expecting was That's kind of a bully. The dark arts, by the way. Like a bully, um, Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. Thinks he's really good, but you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. You know that, of course. <sighs> <laughs> Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Protego! Look at that! They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I'm sure the I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing sure. wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's mm. chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I honestly, like class. one of my... One of the things like I I went like I've noticed is like they like it doesn't seem like they would give you a lot of um rebellion options for like um like classes I think it could be fun to um if they had like something similar to like how how what was it a How bully does bully uh, bull stuff? We should always wear our dragon hide gloves. I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see what a prodigy I am. I am. 
Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Oh, those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. To make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the great hall. Oh, didn't mean to do that. There you are. The cross one's duel is to beat. Okay. Potions class, which is should be close. And I should definitely do some get some potions. Cause I more than likely am going to need them. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. I've never had difficulties with that thing. Revelio. Statue of Gregory some Marty. Pause for uh, if you if you need to. Shouldn't there be auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade? Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. The thing I I would say. Is Hogwarts has always, like, in the stories and everything, Hogwarts has been very independent. And, for the most part, some of the most powerful witches and wizards are professors at Hogwarts. So, like, they don't really, auras aren't really needed to be at Hogwarts. Especially if needed. Like, I think, at most, they would probably be more cracking down on stuff like that. Like, just the... A professor would be like the headmaster would probably be more like hey like we're restricting certain things or like we're gonna have more people like watch out for this potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school as fifth years you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect you will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. Nerd. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Honestly, I would just, I would love for like stuff like this, like to do more stuff like this. Fucking amazing. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Eduras potion. 
Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. My parents consider... Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wigan Weld potion. Oh, you're the new student. I've heard much about you. Um, thank you. I'm Amit, by the way. A pleasure, truly. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wigan Weld potion on their first try. Yeah, I'm amazing. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? What do you want to know? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yeah. yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fupa feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. <laughs> Fupa feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Ah, uh, sure. Very well. I'll bring you a Fupa feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Remember. Precision. Hmm. Isn't Ash, Ash, Ash Wander a fucking uh, dragon? Isn't that a dragon? I'm furious with a fucking dragon. A well prepared witch or wizard always has a few potions on hand. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Efficiency and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. I, I think it would have been better if we ha if it, there was a slight more like uh oh yeah you can do this but you're like add a bit more um spectacle to it like at, like have you like do what they did for that not like like in what they could have done. This is something that I, I thought about. What they could have done is, the more classes you, you attend, the more like you can just do these things without even having to, to do about the um, like the timed events. You can just do it. I think that's what they could have done, but they just chose not to. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh -uh. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. 
What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does mm. go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. All right. Well, that's that. We can head outside now. Ugh, my robes are going to reek from Gareth's inspiration for the rest of term. All right, we're going to actually, uh, world map. Thank you. 